All right, folks, Miss Rusher here for Greatest Common Factor. How do we determine what the greatest common factor is? Well, first we're going to take a look at greatest common factor and what it actually means. The greatest common factor of two or more numbers is the greatest factor shared by all of those numbers. All right, so we have an example here, the greatest common factor of 12 and 16. Let's take a look at this example. You can see all the factors of 12. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Now, which ones do they have in common? Well, let's take a closer look. 1, 2, and 4 are factors in both the numbers 12 and 16. So those are the common factors. Now, which one of those is the greatest? You guessed it, number four. All right, now we just need to find a couple ways to actually find the greatest common factor. My first method is simply by listing some of the factors. So if we have the factors of 12, we can list them. We know that one times 12 is equal to 12, so those are two factors. We also have two times six equals 12, so that would make two more factors, and of course, 3 times 4 equals 12, so there are another two factors, six factors in all, all right? And we could list the factors for number 16. Once we have them in a list, you can see the factors above. Now, all we have to do is circle the ones that they have in common. We want the common factor. So they have a 1 in common. We also have a 2 in common, a 4 in common, and that appears to be it. So now I'm going to have to look at these and determine which of these is the greatest of the common factors. All right, take your guess. If you guessed Four, you are correct. Way to go. But wait, there's more than one way to tackle this problem. We can use our trusty old factor tree. Another way to find the greatest common factor between two numbers is to use a factor tree. We have these two numbers, 12 and 24. Whoa, let's get them into a factor tree. The first one, 12, can be broken down into a prime factorization. This is the same as 3 times 4. So we have those two numbers at the bottom of our factor tree. Next, we can break this 4, which is a composite number, down a little bit further into 2 times 2, two more factors. Now we want to break down our 24. 24 can be broken down into 4 times 6. 4 times 6, and the 4 can be broken down into, again, 2 times 2, just like our other one. And the 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3. So our factors for 24, our prime factorization, would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and the prime factorization for the number 12, 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12. Now, in order to determine what our greatest common factor is, we're going to have to circle, I'm going to use this circle up here, to circle the ones that they have in common, the common ones. All right? So they both appear to have a 2, so I'll circle that one and that one. And then they also have a second two in common. And they have a three in common. So my greatest common factor would be a product of these common factors in the prime factorization. So our greatest common factor, you can see, is indeed 12. 12 is a factor of 12, and it is also a factor of 24. Now, 
One more method. Let's build a cake using the upside down division ladder. I'm going to take these two factors and try to find, I'm going to take these two numbers, excuse me, 48 and 60, and try to find the greatest common factor. So, building a cake, I'm going to put a division ladder or first layer of our cake and decide which factor these have in common. I know that a 4 goes into this one because 4 times 15 is 60 and I know a 4 goes into this one because 4 times 12 is 48. So I'm going to put a 4 out to the side and I'm going to change this to 12 because 12 times 4 is 48 and this one will become 15. Now let's add another layer to the cake. Why not? Everybody loves a cake with extra layers. Adding another layer. Do these numbers have any common factors? Hmm. Well, 3 goes into both 12 and 15. So 3 would be a common factor. 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 5 is 15. Let's add another layer to the cake. Do these numbers have any common factors? If you said no, you're right, because 5 is a prime number already. And since it's larger than 4, there's no way it would be a factor of 4. So we have two common factors, 3 and 4. To find the greatest common factor, we simply need to multiply these two common ones. 3 times 4 is 12. And that is your greatest common factor. I hope this helps you out. See ya!